if you feel like you need to change the world or you need to fix the world or you feel responsible this is too much to put on to one person together we're gonna save the world but if we put it all onto our shoulders, if we put it all on one person's shoulders, if you put it all onto your shoulders, that's too much weight. You'll buckle under the weight of that. I mean, it, it, it literally feels like weight on your shoulder when you put that much expectation on yourself. It's being self-critical. Nothing you do is good enough because look at all the problems in the world. So all of these self-criticisms or self-loathing or not loving or not accepting ourselves all of this is weight and it makes it harder for us to get anything done so the first step I believe if you want to change the world or save the world the first step is you have to completely relieve yourself of the obligation of having to save the world the weight of that will cripple the average person and make it very hard for them to do any good in this world also, if we have our sights set on huge, huge goals, like saving the entire world, many times that's such a big presence, the idea of saving the world, it's so big that it blocks your vision from being able to see the people that are right next to you that you can help. So this idea of we have to do something great on a, on a, world, on a world scale, this concept that we have to save the world, this concept can block our ability to see the people that we can actually save, that we can actually help, right nearby us. And many times, it's people that are in our family. So sometimes the best thing we can do for the world is to repair a broken relationship between you and a family member. That creates so much goodness. When you rebuild a connection between someone you love, both of you are benefited greatly. That increase in love becomes an increase of love that's constantly flowing out of you. So it, it now affects everybody else around you. So this can ultimately help the world through direct contact. One person helps one person, and that person then feels compelled to help another person. Now there's some place that's even more local than your family, and that's you. Many times we'll look out and see who we can help around us before we notice that we actually need help. When we acknowledge that we're not perfect, that we're weak, when we acknowledge that we need help, that's then when we get the help. We don't get the help until we acknowledge that we need it. Allow yourself to be free of the obligation of saving the world. This will put you in a more peaceful state. Now, in that peaceful state, you don't have the weight of the obligation of saving the world. Without that crippling weight, you are now more capable of saving the world. And so then you start seeing good things happening in the world naturally as a result of you just naturally interacting with the world without that weight. I know you guys are all absolutely wonderful people and I'm sure you want to save the world, but I'm looking out for you. You might be looking out for the entire world, but I'm looking out for you. I want to make sure that, that you're a priority. I know that what's best for the world is that you are in your happiest state. Because I found with me, when I'm in my happiest state, I do the most good for the world. So I can only assume that's same for you. Alright you guys, I love you. Until the next present moment.